Well, when I started with martial arts, I started with boxing. When I was 14, I was, well, I was making bad choices in life. And uh, I always wanted to try fighting. So I tried boxing in a little gym in uh, Solentuna, in a cellar in the Malmbergen. I just got hooked. And after a year, I got kind of bored. It was kind of one-dimensional. So my little brother started Pancras Gym under Omar Buish. And I thought, well, if he's going to start with like choking people and stuff, I have to start too, otherwise he's going to beat my ass. So that's how I started. And I've been for fighting for Pancras for eight years now. Well, my fight style, well, I like to say aggressive. I'm in it to win it, so to say. I'm ready to do anything to win. It doesn't matter if I'm gonna wrestle to win, if I'm gonna run a pound to win, if I'm gonna try to submit to win, if I'm gonna try to knock out to win. I can do everything, and I will do everything to win. That's what separates me. That's why I'm fighting the Grand Prix tournament. Well, now I'm facing a much more t tougher competition in Japan than, than in Sweden. Well, I also want to climb the ladder in the world, so. For me, it's just a natural part of the step, but it's a whole different like culture, a whole different look at the whole thing. Here it's more, it doesn't matter if you win or you lose. What matters is your warrior spirit and how you fight. Like, you got to go in there to die. And that's the difference. And you, of course, you got to make a show. It's more, you got to capture the audience if you want to stay. They rather have a, a fun fighter that loses than a boring fighter that wins. Yeah, I like to consider myself a fun fighter. Well, my goals right now is to win the Rising Gr Open Weight Grand Prix. And I take it every day as it comes. But I have a few goals that I want to accomplish, but they're for the future. I gotta stay in the present moment, and my present moment is the Rising Grand Prix. So that's all my focus. I don't even think about the other stuff because this is all that matters right here, right now. And what I do right here, right now is going to affect me how I'm going to fight in the future. So I put all my attention and all my inner chi and all my inner focus to the things I'm doing right here, right now. I always like training. I used to play a lot of ice hockey when I was younger and I love training and I love competing. And I have a hard time seeing myself doing something else than this. Like the body I'm given right now, I'm a killing machine. I need to use it fully. Otherwise, I'd be wasted it sitting in his office. Uh, uh. Man, that's how you start depression. That's how you get psycho. This is my purpose. This is what I'm here to do. Um, we're here, we're distant in this time that we're living in now. We've always been fighting in our culture. It's in our DNA. Like, I'm meant to fight. I'm meant to fight something. Either if it's an animal, or it's a man or defend a village a long, long time ago. I'm meant to do this. This is my destiny. This is my purpose. This is what I'm here for. So you just got to come to terms with yourself. And yes, training is tough, but that builds character. That makes you tougher. When you're evenly matched, is the guy who's willing to win and do everything and who's more tough that's going to win in the end. Because, let's say, there's no time limit. So the first person to give up here is the first person to go on to lose. Because in a fight, you can always ask yourself, oh, shit, now it got hard. Oh, should I give up? Your ego starts playing tricks with you. That's when you got to say, no, I'm not tired. I'm going to win, and I'm going to do what it takes. So it's just come to terms with itself and accept. And, uh, well, it's better to live a short life in a way that you like than a long life spent in a miserable way.